Guys, hari ini kita bersama Dr. John Seligman, sejarawan arkeolog ahli situs-situs Purbakala bergelar Dr. S3. Uh, the temple place of the temple uh, that is built uh, by Solomon uh, in the central part of what is today known as the Temple Mount. Uh, at the end of the first temple period in 586, as the kingdom decides to expand the size of the Temple Mount until the latest stage, which is during the time of Herod, talking around about the time of uh, the first century, when the area is expanded to its greatest size. And that's the size you see of the Temple Mount today. The area which today used for prayer is the Western Wall, which is in fact actually an external wall of the Temple Mount itself. Uh, that is then destroyed, uh, quite specifically as a political act by the Romans, to make sure that uh, the Jews do not rebel against Roman rule again. And uh, the, the site then becomes more, more or less derelict. There is no real attempt to do any real reconstruction of the Temple Mount uh, right through Uh, right up until the time of the coming and uh, the entry of Islam into the city of Jerusalem. When uh, Umar, uh, Umar enters Jerusalem, he would have mostly found uh, an empty space. He, and for that reason, he uh, builds a small mosque uh, on what is today known as the area of the, of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. We know quite clearly the development of the two major structures on the Temple Mount, one being the, uh, the Dome of the Rock uh, and the other one being the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Um, both were built by the fifth caliph, Um, Abdul Malik. Those buildings are, um, are later, than the, later than the time of the arrival of Muhammad. So this Aqsa is built on top of the holiest site of Jewish religion. Can you say that? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, the, the, holiest, the holiest site of Jewish religion would be the place of the temple itself on the, the rock, which is at the very center of the Dome of the Rock. That is the place by Jewish tradition, which is the place of the, um, the creation. It's the place of the uh, sacrifice of Isaac uh, by Abraham, or in Islamic tradition of Ismail by, Abra by Abraham. So that's the very, very epicenter of, uh, of the axis between um, earth and the heavens. So that is the place, of course, where the Messiah will come when he comes, by Jewish tradition, will come, there to, come to that place. That so there, there will be plan someday? When the Messiah comes. When the Messiah comes, okay. <laughs> that, is, that is a very good... Uh, ending. We should end on that. <laughs> Very good ending.